All right, folks, in the last 20 videos, we have learned quite a lot on Power BI uh, do-it-yourself tutorials. Now, this is what we learned, getting started, uh, architecture, understanding visualizations, maps, clustered and stacked visualizations, interactive visualizations, waterfall gauges, and then uh, integrating with R, and this was implementing a live project. So how to get the data from the project, the databases, how to create a snowflake schema and merge queries, how do you append queries, then calculation for appended queries, uh, DAX, we learned quite a lot on DAX. So introduction, ratios, iterative functions, ranks, what if analysis and drill throughs. Now it's time to put this all together and create a dashboard which may look like this. This dashboard is created using the same concepts which you have learned in the previous video. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna provide you a template which can help you create these kind of dashboards, good looking dashboards, uh, very quickly. Now these templates, I'm gonna talk about in detail, but let's look at the dashboard here. Uh, this is a very high level dashboard in which you have on the left hand side sales, cost, gross profit, and gross profit to sales ratio. On the right hand side are the filters, date, uh, filter, which you can select last one year, one month, week. This is a relative date filtering. I'm gonna show you how to create that as well. Uh, you can also filter on country, uh, India or UK or US, depending upon what you wanna filter, and then from a product category perspective, you can filter this as well. Now, this is one of the layouts on which uh, you have filters on the right side and the KPIs on the left side and then the visualization in a center. You can change this based on different templates and as I mentioned, I'm gonna release templates, one template every week. So keep an eye on that. And uh, in another template, you can have these KPIs on the right side, filters on the left, you can swap them, or uh, there are different layouts which I'm gonna talk about. In here, you see sales by city, and here this is a map visualization, and this is called bar chart with products based on their sales. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to navigate on the reports. So I'm gonna right click here, say drill through, and I'm gonna say city-wise analysis, which is the second on the list. There you go. So you have city-wise analysis, a very similar layout, and please note that it's very easy for the, the, the user to kind of cleanly move from one navigation to another while keeping the, the the trends and the KPIs and the filters at very uh, at one place. Now, as we have learned drill throughs, I'm gonna click on 2012 and I'm gonna see quarterly data. And please note that this is for the country, the city, London. So if you have to look at on the right side, on the drill throughs, you would see city as London and that's what you are doing it. We can display London here, but that's in the next set of video. You can have quarter one and then January. You can go back right on the top by clicking on this. Now, it's all um, interactive dashboard. So if I click on silver, it's gonna show me those data sets. Again, I'm gonna walk you through in the next video how to create this. And then from here, you can go down to the detail level as well. So for example, I wanna go from here, drill through details, and it's gonna give me the details. And please note that I tried to maintain a very, very similar look and feel every single time. This is important in the case where you are looking at very, very detailed data. Now, coming back to the main dashboard, from here, you can go down to directly the detail level as well. So you can see a cross navigation is possible. I don't wanna to go to the city-wise analysis, 
I can directly go down to the details section. On the details section as well, you have unit cost, unit price, sales, and gross profit, and this is all not sorted. So I want to sort this data by the sales. I just click on it, and you can see how quick the navigation was in sorting. I can also sort the gross profit by this. So you can, you can see how good analysis can be done with templates which can be created and maintained easily. Now, in order to understand the concept of report navigation, it's very important to understand how the design, the patterns have been put together in these kind of dashboards. So the idea is to have dashboards at a very high level and then followed by trends and the detail level. So this would be your main dashboard, city-wise analysis, and this would be the details. Normally, you will have summary on the dashboards and please follow the color combination. So color is uh, brown or maroon. Uh, you, you follow this one. And then you will have MTD or YTD calculations on the trend. You can also say top 10 products, top five customers, top 10 cities, and those analysis. And in this trends itself, you can have the what if analysis, which we have talked about in, in a few previous videos. And then you have transaction details, which can be at a very detailed level of data. Mostly transaction level details, we would like to keep it in a tabular rows and columns format, but it's not necessary always. You design your own patterns, but this is a pattern which we have seen uh, based on our experiences from a long time that this would work irrespective of what reporting tool you're using. And then you can apply and filter to slice and dice the data in these areas, but here this would be mostly driven by drill-throughs. Having said that, nobody stops you to extending this filter and slice and dice data on the on the transaction detail page as well, as you can see from the template, which I'm gonna provide. And then finally, uh, you will have role-based security, which I'm gonna discuss in my future videos, uh, further videos uh, about this. So this is a report navigation concept. Again, I'm going to release a lot of templates and how to use the templates is what we are gonna see in the next video. Thank you for watching.